Hi, I'm Mikey, a medical cannabis patient from Ohio. Well, the drug war has its latest casualty, 92-year-old Katherine Johnston, formerly of Atlanta, Georgia. She was killed by officers investigating a rumor that drug activity was occurring in her home. After the cops broke in without any warning, Ms. Johnston opened fire on what she thought were burglars and was met by 39 police shots in response. No drugs or anything else illegal was found on the property, so the cops planted three bags of marijuana to make the bus look good. They later admitted to doing this as well as admitting to using shabby and unprovable information to get a warrant for the raid. Now it's not just the medical cannabis patients and recreational users that are in danger from the government's ill-planned and executed war on drugs. Innocent civilians are being killed as well. I thought the Gestapo died with the Third Reich. What's it going to take to get this nation to raise up and shout this is wrong? In this day and age of information, I can't believe that all it takes to get cops or get someone audited or to send children's services to someone's home is an anonymous phone call. Even simple hands-on investigative practices like interviews with neighbors and friends or simple records checks seem to be beyond the capabilities of our current system of enforcement. Although the current alignment of law enforcement leaves it as a pseudo-political body, essentially the strong right hand of our leaders, they are entrusted to enforce the law in a hands-on fashion. The element of caution is often thrown out the window in this rabid anti-drug atmosphere that began with Nixon, was fanned by Reagan, and is in current vogue with the Clintons, Bushes, et al. It seems funny that the ex and current presidents that waved this flag so loudly and proudly also have been involved in some of the most illegal and scandalous behavior ever recorded by a standing president. It seems that the war on drugs is a quick way to distract the public and tie up the news waves. I screwed the pooch on this one, but I'm against drugs is the call. A quick little tap dance, a few million donated to this or that rehab service, and another scandal is swept neatly away. These domestic war casualties are occurring as more and more the country turns towards compassionate use initiatives or legal pro possession by adults of an ounce or less of cannabis. They happen as a burgeoning government tries to inflict its will on a population as ready for the truth and as ready for change. They occur in federal state forces stand in conflict over how to treat medical cannabis. THC fights lung cancer and helps cancer and AIDS patients eat and not fall into the dark depression caused by terminal illness. Whole plant marijuana has been found to fight intractable pain in multiple sclerosis and AIDS patients and has a general painkiller that is non-addictive and inexpensive to produce. Every week a new study emerges showing that cannabis is good for fighting this condition or that disease, yet our government keeps on keeping on. This war on drugs is perpetuated by big pharma, big alcohol, big tobacco, and big government, all who stand to lose quite a few bucks if medical consumption or recreational consumption of cannabis becomes legal. By taxing marijuana, the money would go into the government and not disappear into someone's pocket. I don't want to brew beer or grow tobacco at home. It's far too labor and space intensive, but I would grow three or four marijuana plants to keep me supplied medically. It would be way cheaper than buying from the black market, and I could control my species and chemical additives, thereby getting the best strain for my condition. How many more innocents have to die? How, many more, how much more money would be wasted prosecuting and jailing innocent patients and recreational users? How much longer does the government think it can deceive and continue deceiving the population about marijuana. Your voice can be heard. You must call and write your state and federal representatives. Call and write your newspapers, your radio stations, your TV stations, and demand that the truth about marijuana be told. Please support the Ohio Patient Network. We're in it for you. Keep it green.